Hello everyone, David Lee here, back with another video on a project-based learning and design thinking project. I really hope you enjoy it. For this project, our 5th grade students were provided the following scenario. The annual Eco Trade Show showcases innovative products designed, prototyped, and tested by inventors who want to preserve, protect, or rehabilitate an element of the environment. Each inventor focuses on an environmental problem and uses the design thinking process to produce a product that would help solve or reduce the impact of the problem. The trade show is targeted to investors, a role taken up by attendees of the trade show, who are looking to invest in innovative products that can help our precious planet. Our fifth grade students visited a local water quality restoration center, where they learned how environmental engineers rehabilitate water. There, Ms. Dorenzo and Mrs. Curtis demonstrated how to test turbidity of the water in a small stream next to the center. The students also got to see the process of how the city changes waste to clean water. This entry event was designed to intrigue students about the topic of preserving and rehabilitating the environment. Students were then introduced with the driving question, how will you as environmental engineers design and market a product that rehabilitates or preserves an element of the environment? Students were given voice and choice in what they could create for this authentic challenge. They used the design thinking process to design their product, first gaining a deep understanding of an environmental problem, the group of people affected by the problem, as well as the attendees of the Eco Trade Show, empathizing with their feelings, needs, and concerns. The empathize stage involves students asking questions, making observations, and gathering information about the situation people wanted to change. They used the needs, concerns, and insights to develop a problem sentence that guided their design process in the define stage. In the ideate stage, students sketched and labeled multiple solutions that would likely meet the criteria and constraints of the problem. After receiving feedback from classmates, teachers, and high school mentors, students chose one solution and created a visual blueprint. The blueprint provided detailed information on the materials needed, the product's measurements, how the parts are put together, how the product works, and the tests that would be carried out to see the effectiveness of the product. In the prototype stage, they added more detail to their blueprint and made a concrete, tangible product that was eventually tested out in the test stage. The testing was done under a range of likely conditions, and its purpose was to identify failure points or difficulties that the students could improve on. Students ultimately presented their product publicly in the Eco Trade Show. Middle and high school students, and teachers, parents, administrators, and even visiting MIT students all requested orders for the products that they felt were worth investing in. They presented to investors with the visual display of the environmental problem, their innovative product, and how their product protects or benefits the environment. They also included a map highlighting the regions of the world the product could benefit, the product's testing process along with the results of the tests, 
and promotional materials that contain important information about the product. Each product also came with a pricing analysis. To answer the driving question, students had to acquire knowledge and skills from multiple subject areas. In science, students needed to learn how to obtain and combine information about ways individual communities use science ideas to protect the Earth's resources and environment, and how each of the Earth's spheres interact and are interconnected. For social studies, students learned about economics, specifically supply and demand, expenses, revenue, profit margin, marketing, and distribution. In geography, students identify where in the world their products could be useful. In writing, students wrote an expository slash persuasive marketing piece for their product. For technology, students created a website that marketed their product. And finally, in engineering, students needed to define a problem sentence, generate multiple possible solutions, design prototypes, and carry out tests. Well, that wraps up our summary video. Hope it has given you a glimpse of what is possible when incorporating project-based learning and design thinking into learning. I would like to give special thanks to the following for making this project happen. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would enjoy content similar to this. Check out the description for more links. And of course, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.